Hello, family, Takuma New Life Church. It is also a blessed day. God bless you and God loves you. Uh, from today on, we have a new Bible reading plan. It is uh, 21 days in Ephesians. Yes, uh, we're going to read the book of Ephesians and uh, share the message from the book of the Ephesians. And I'm so happy to share first day for reading uh, Ephesians. Because <clears throat> uh, I'd like to let you know uh, some important word to understand Ephesians well or better. Uh, to understand Ephesians very well, we need to study. We need to know. We need to study the word "we." W e first. Uh, we is not just a pronoun, but our identity as the Church of Christ. Uh, as you know, no one can make we alone. Everyone is have I and you to build up this we. Uh, it is like this. When you read the first part of the book of Ephesians, uh, we can see the so-called um, greetings. Uh, Apostle Paul says like that. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, to the saints, who are in Ephesus and are faithful in Christ Jesus. The Bible tells us who I is. My identity is that I'm a person by the will of God. Will of God. Of course, we are not person who are in coincidence. We are by the will of God. And also, we are a person, we are people who are sent by God, which means an apostle. Uh, the title apostle was a leader in the biblical age. Uh, they were people who were 12 disciples and Paul and Barnabas like that. But anyway, long story short, there is no apostle position title anymore. Um, some people argue they are apostles, but no, 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 no. Uh, pastor is just pastor, minister is just minister. That's all. There is no apostles. But we may take this meaning, we may take this title as the original meaning. The apostle means the people who who uh, are who are sent, right? Yes. So uh, you understand that God sent you to that place where you are now. Because you believe in Jesus Christ, you have to understand the place you are now is not just a place. It is a place where God sent you. You are there by the will of God. You are in your home, in your house, in your business, in your workplace by the will of God. We need to know that. That is the holy I to make holy we. And you, you is a person who is called as a saint in Ephesus. Uh, when I see you, when I see you, uh, we should know you is a saint. Uh, saint doesn't mean just a holy man. Uh, uh, yes, actually holy man, but um, we need to understand who holy man is. Holy man is, uh, being holy man cannot be by my effort, biblically. Being holy man is only, can be um, by his grace, right? So when you say saint, that mean is a person who have grace to be 
the child of God. That is the saint. Anyway, <clears throat> when you see somebody, uh, in other words, when I see you, yes, he or she is a saint. Where? In Ephesus. Ephesus uh, was not a good place for Christian. As you read the book of Acts 19, verse 23 through 41, people of Ephesus worshipped idols eagerly. There was a great revival God gave through Apostle Paul, but they hated it because their business in regard to idol Demi was decreased and they gonna lose their jobs. They hate that. So there was big riots and then um, the Christian was a very uh, crisis too. <clears throat> anyway, you, you, when I see somebody, he's or she, he or she is you, you are a saint in a fierce world like Ephesus. That is you. And also faithful one in Christ. Okay, listen carefully. I can be you when you see me, right? At that time, I, as you, uh, should be a faithful one in Christ. That is something we have uh, effort. Like this, uh, we can build the holy we. That is the we. That is the we. This we is not just um, making community or social group. This we is the body of Christ who is united by the Holy Spirit in the bond of peace. This we has to make many efforts to keep the unity the Holy Spirit made. That is we. Make sense? Yes, we need to remember the, the meaning of the word we. We. <clears throat> and then the, um, there is some uh, so-called doxology, like that verse 3, Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Yes, so one of the uh, one we have to remember is that we have every spiritual blessing. We have a blessing, true blessing, spiritual blessing. What is a spiritual blessing? There's a like that, verse 4, even as he chose us in him, in Jesus, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. In love, he predestined us for adoption to himself as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace with which he has blessed us in the beloved. Amen. That is the spiritual blessing. We can praise the Lord because He has blessed us with every spiritual blessing. Spiritual blessing is, we can say, the blessing of the chosen. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Uh, to understand this blessing, you should understand the uh, true meaning of predestination and chosen. Being chosen. Uh, so many people misunderstand about the uh, theology of predestination. Actually, predestination is very graceful theology, very graceful word. But some people misunderstand it like that. Oh, God has already decided who is going to hell or heaven. Huh? <laughs> no. No, not at all. Not at all. If, we, if you think like that, it is totally uh, non-biblical idea. It's not biblical idea. The Bible says, God, God so loved the world that He has he, 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 he's given to us the only begotten Son, right? Yes, so anyone who believes in Jesus Christ, not perished, but 
have eternal life. That is what he believe in. Whoever call uh, the name of Jesus Christ will be saved. So that you cannot uh, say and you don't you cannot think that oh predestination means God uh, has already decided who uh, who gonna go to hell or heaven. That's not predestination. Predestination means the uh, just wordly, just terminologically, it is to make a form beforehand. Uh, if I explain it uh, more easily, uh, predestination is God's plan and His thought. That is the predestination. Why God's plan and His thought is a predestination? Because uh, His plan and His thought is always accomplished definitely, finally. But, uh, but when we see as a human being who is in historical time, historical time flowing, you know what I mean? When you see his plan and his thought, it is predestined because it is always accomplished, fulfilled, finally and definitely. That's why we, when God asks, when when we uh, when we see His plan and His His uh, thought, we can see, oh, it is predestined. I hope you understand. Um, some so uh, the, when we uh, I mean uh, something we need to focus on is not actually predestined, the word predestined only. Predestined for what? Predestined what? As the Bible said, He predestined us for adoption to Himself as sons through Jesus Christ. His plan, God's plan is to adopt us as his children who inherit the kingdom of God through only Jesus Christ. That is God's plan and his thought. That is the predestination. Predestination is that God has a plan to save us and make us his children who inherit his kingdom only through Jesus Christ. That is the predestination. At the time, we don't understand how I can have this grace being the child of God who received, who, who inherited the kingdom of God. At the time, we can just say that God chose me. In this case, you never think about it is about elitism. Oh, I am the chosen. You are not. I'm better than, much better than you. That is so-called elitism. Oh, that is not God thought. As we say, I'm chosen, it means that there is no reason to be his child from myself. No, I cannot find out any reason to be his child who inherit his kingdom. Not at all. Not at all. Oh, because we have the holy sacred ancestors? No. That's why the Bible says uh, He chose us in Him, in Jesus, before the foundation of the world. Yes, Bible block. Uh, Bible block us to think about that. Even that thinking. Totally by His grace. There is no reason I'm saved in me, from me. So at the time we can say, I'm chosen. God chose me. So when you say about I'm chosen, that meaning is uh, there, there, I have no reason. There is no reason from myself. It's only by His grace. 
We cannot explain about that because that is what God has done. Uh, so that we have to understand predestination and chose, chosen. We need to know, we need to understand that word exactly biblically. At that time, we understand, oh, that is totally spiritual blessings. That is spiritual blessings. That's why we can say that is spiritual blessing. So when you understand this part, you when you read the uh, book of Ephesians and other books, uh, you uh, you won't misunderstand what God has done to you for you and for this world. Let's pray. Heavenly Father God, thank you for thank you for choosing us. Thank you for giving us understanding about predestination and the chosen. Yes, Father, because we have that every spiritual blessing, we want to make, we want to keep the holy we. Please make us holy we, holy body of Christ. I pray in Jesus' name, amen.